Certamat is used for skill practice both in class and for homework. So Deltamat is our new website and new platform. Uh, Deltamat is a website that allows me to assign content to you. Yes, we have one more uh, website and uh, platform, Education Perfect EP. So we will use it. Uh, and we will use Delta Math also. Uh, so now I will show it to you. It's really easy to use. And but first of all, you need to create your account. There are more problems, assignments, types, and you will see. I am planning to use both of them together. And of course, Google Classroom, and we will have more platforms. Uh, I am planning to prepare uh, maybe one page i will explain all of the things there so which platform i'm using what should we do and so on you will see all of them one page so uh, let's take a look at delta mat now uh, please open your uh, web browser or click this link click down that link www.deltamat.com so you need to create your account. I will show it to you, this is. Okay, so if you want to register, so right hand side, uh, you will see create account, uh, right top uh, corners. So create account, click down that, and uh, you will see student and teacher. Choose the student part, okay? Probably now you are seeing create student account page and you need to write a teacher code. After that, you will have this. So you need to select your class, select your class here, 1A of course. Write your name, surname, do not use nicknames, uh, so write name, surname, and email addresses. It doesn't matter. Uh, you may use personal email addresses. Uh, that part is not really important, but you need to write email addresses and password, of course. Then create account. 1A. So Leila Alibagovic, you did it. Hamza Tero, Emina Metovic, Said Musa, Ahmed Savgos, Rebobitich Vago, Alihela Neyser. Uh, Naila and Emir. Okay, nice. Probably you are seeing this. Am I right? Upcoming assignment. Yes. Okay. Harness method. Difference of two squares, level one. Difference of two squares, level two. So you have the assignment. If you look at the first assignment, which is harness method, you will see three subtitles here. Synthetic division remainder theorem, remainder factor theorem, and so on. Right hand side of each, uh, I mean, subtitles, you will see number zero and three. So right hand side, there is three. So that number tells you, you need to solve three questions. I mean, you need to give three correct answers. So if your answer is wrong, uh, Upcoming assignments, you will see the assignments. There are Horner's method. First one is Horner's method. There are some subtitles. So right hand side, you are seeing two numbers, zero plus three. So that three tells you the number of correct answers. So you will you will have uh, randomly, you will get randomly questions from that subject, but you need to give three correct answers. If your answer is wrong, keep trying so you need to uh, keep trying until you can get three correct answers so three questions correct and that number tells you that for example the second assignment you need to give five correct answers let us check the questions uh difference of perfect scale problems because we did it before so when you open the assignment you will see a simple question Factors 
completely. So, difference of perfect squares. You have this question. If you look at look at the right top corner, show example and give up. So if you don't understand the question, you may click down that link. So you may now you are seeing the sample example 49 minus x squared. How can I factor as 49 minus x squared? The square root of 49 is 7. Square root of x squared is x. 7 minus x. 7 plus x. Okay, nice. So now you have the question 25 minus x squared. You could write the answer using your keyboard, or here we have a digital keyboard. So what is the answer of this question? Who will tell me the factorized form of 25 minus x squared? 5 minus x. 5 minus x. Then second one is 5 plus x, is it? Yes. Okay. Then submit your answer here. So there's a double check. Are you sure? Is this the factorized form of the given expression? If you are sure, yes. Then it's correct. So you will see the brief explanation of your question. Your answer is correct, but you have the explanation here. 25, the square root of 25 is 5, square root of x squared is x, and so on. Then next problem. See here you have uh, out of 5, you have one correct answer. So if you get 5 correct answers, your assignment will be finished. But if the Let's say the next problem, 4 minus 9x squared. It's so simple, but let me write only 4. It's not correct. Okay. So you have one more attempt. So maybe you forget something. Okay, I will try to do it again. And again, I will uh, give you intentionally the wrong answer. Then what will happen? Then that's wrong. It's not correct. But you will have the solution here. 4 minus 9x squared. The square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 9x squared is 3x. So you need to write 2 minus 3x, 2 plus 3x. That's not correct. Uh, there, is no, there is no penalty here. I could add penalty points. I mean, if your answer is not correct, you need to give 6 correct answers. So there won't be any penalty. So just Keep trying until you can get five questions correct. That's the Delta Math Platform uh, website. It's so simple. Professor, can I ask you a question? Yes. Are we supposed to only write results or step by step how we got the results? No, no, just the results. Just the result. Okay. Let me let me show you. You did something, Naila. I will show it to you. Yes, but I thought that we were supposed uh, to. Let, let, let me let me show you. So assignments one a. This is these are our assignments. Corners method. Uh, difference of two squares. Really simple assignment. Now let me check that assignment. The Naila solo hundred percent and Kerim Haidar. So just I will take Naila now. Look at this. This assignment. She did it. The first question was correct. 66 seconds uh, later gave the answer. Second correct, third correct, fourth correct, fifth correct. Finished the assignment. That's it. But if it is wrong, I could do that one. I mean, if you, uh, your answer is wrong, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. So the important thing is you should learn something here. You should finish your assignment. Do you have any question about the Delta math? Website? No.